वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर्मिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमान लेबे ग्लैमर नाउ व्हाई दिस रिमान लेबे ग्लैमर इज कम इनटू द पिक्चर लेट अस बिल्ड अप सम बैकग्राउंड अबाउट इट we have the fourier series of the function f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity an cos nx plus bn sin nx in the interval minus pi to pi if your function is a riemann integrable function is given to then a0 is you can write down as 2 by pi 1 by pi Minus pi to pi f of x dx. Again, you can write down one upon pi minus pi to pi f x cos n x dx. And again, we can write down one by pi minus pi to pi f of x sin n x dx. And using this, we have. Prove that the Bessel's inequality, which tells you that summation n running from one to infinity a n square plus p n square, is less than or equal to one by pi minus pi to pi f of x square d x. In short, we have concluded that this series is convergent series. And you know that the, any series is convergent series. Any series x n is convergent, then its nth term has to be tending to zero as n tends to infinity. That is the very first result of the series you probably know. Since this x n is zero, x n is tending to zero. If this summation of x n is convergent, we can say that this a n square plus b n square is also tending to zero as And I should due to this series is convergent. Now this both of them is a square of a number and which tending to zero. That means this a n square and b n square both of them are tending to zero. So you have can say that a n square is tends to zero as n tends to infinity and b n square is also tends to zero as n tends to infinity. So that means this will give you a n is tending to zero. As n tends to infinity and b n is tending to zero. As n tends to infinity, what does it mean? It means that the Fourier coefficient is always tending to zero as n tends to infinity. That means this quantity integration minus pi to pi f of x cos n x b x is tends to zero as n tends to infinity, and you may also say that. This integration minus pi to pi f of x sine n x dx will also be tends to zero as n tends to infinity. This problem is one time asked in the NET examination. I don't know the year, but in some of the year they have asked this as a one of the question. Now, what is the Riemann Lebesgue lemma? Riemann Lebesgue lemma is tells you about the same thing, but It is tells you in the interval, any in general interval. In so let us try to write down what is that theorem says. The theorem says this: if pi is a Riemann integrable function in the interval a b, and if if I define a n is nothing but the integration a to b pi of x into cos n x d x, and if I define b n as A to B, pi of x sine n x b x. Then, look that this a n is tending to zero and b n is tending to zero as n tends to infinity. So this is a very easy problem if I use that Bessel's inequality here again and use the Previous discussion, as we have discussed just now, and what we have, we are taking this a and b in the end any interval, which is a finite number. So if I take this a b, which is this interval is belongs to some 
इंटरवल माइनस के पाए टू प्लस टू के पाए आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग विद ए बी इन टू दिस लार्जर इंटीगर इंटरवल और सम के एम दिस इज ऑलवेज टू सो दैट इज अ वन ए बी इंटरवल इज देर सो यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड सम टू नंबर्स in the form of this for some k so that this entire interval is lies inside that interval due to this a and b both of them are finite number now defining one function f of x which i am defining phi of x if your x is in the interval a b and it is zero otherwise that means if it is not in this in interval Then it has a value zero. So it is suppose the in the interval the value of the function is this. This is your phi of x, and the outside this interval that is here and here the value value is zero. You have and so the graph of the function f is this with the I've plotted with the red. That is the graph of this function. Now follow with the As per the previous discussion, what is this quantity that you can say in the interval? So I can write down as a n, which we have integration from a to b, phi of x into cos n x b x. Now this we can write down as minus phi to phi f x cos And x dx. Due to this, it is zero outside. So in the interval, what is the integration is there? But outside, it is the function is zero. So I am adding this portion into that. So it not make any change in the integration. And this is already tends to zero as n tends to infinity. That we already proved just now. And so similarly for b n also we can do. We can write down the same thing. So that's complete the proof of this Riemann Lebesgue lemma. So here in this le in this uh, lecture, I have just proved the Riemann Lebesgue lemma. That's it for this video. If you have liked this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion, or question, please drop down in the comment box below. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Sayonara.